In this video, we will show you the best beaches in and around Paros, Greece. We will go over all the must-see beaches and sites, along with some of the most beautiful views. It's going to be glorious. If you stick around until the end, I am sharing a pro tip. Anyway, let's get into it. I've been dreaming about coming to the Greek islands for years. I mean, who hasn't? The allure of these islands is just irresistible. The white houses, the blue roofs, the gyros. It's like stepping into a postcard. All right, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. The food here is just as amazing as you've heard. But seriously, this place is even more stunning in person. The sunsets, the clear waters, it's all so breathtaking. So we touched down in Athens a couple days ago, did the whole Acropolis thing, which was amazing, don't get me wrong, but I'm ready for some serious beach time. Athens is rich in history, but the islands are calling. That's why we hopped on a ferry to the island of Paros. The journey itself was an adventure, with stunning views all around. It's known for its laid-back vibe, crystal clear waters, and you guessed it, beaches. Lots and lots of beaches. Like, a lot of beaches. We're talking hidden coves, golden sands, party beaches, chill beaches, beaches for days. Each one has its own unique charm. I'm on a mission to find the best ones and share them with you all, so you can plan your own epic Greek island adventure. Trust me, you'll want to take notes. Ever dreamed of finding the perfect beach getaway? A place where you can just unwind and soak up the sun? Well, you're about to discover the hidden gems of Paros, Greece. These are the spots that locals love and tourists dream about. Stick around for a bonus tip at the end that'll take your beach experience to the next level. Hello there, beach lovers. You won't want to miss this. I'm Host's Name, and today we're exploring the top beaches of Paros, Greece. Get ready for some serious beach inspiration. From secret coves to golden sands, there's something here for everyone. Whether you're an adventurer or a sunbather, Paros has it all. If you love travel and adventure, hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Let's dive in. We've got a lot to explore, so let's get started. All right, first up on our Paros beach crawl is Kolombithras Beach. This beach is one of the most iconic spots on the island, and for good reason. This place is straight out of a postcard. Imagine the most picturesque beach you can think of, and then add a touch of magic. We're talking turquoise water, golden sand, and these crazy rock formations that look like they belong in a fantasy novel. Seriously, these rocks are wild. They're like giant smooth sculptures that have been carved out by the sea over millions of years. Each one tells a story of time and nature's artistry. You can tell just by looking around that this place is millions of years old. The rocks have a timeless quality, almost like they're whispering secrets of the past. It makes you feel pretty small, you know? Like, we're just passing through, but these rocks have seen it all. They've witnessed countless sunrises and sunsets, storms, and calm days. And the water? Don't even get me started. It's so clear and blue, it's almost unreal. It's like looking into a giant natural aquarium, like you can see straight down to the bottom. The visibility is incredible, making it perfect for snorkeling and discovering underwater life. So, Kolimbithris is known for these natural pools that have formed between the rocks. These pools are like nature's own hot tubs, minus the heat. They're like little private swimming holes, perfect for cooling off on a hot day. Imagine dipping into one of these pools with the sun shining down and the sound of the waves in the background. I'm gonna jump in one right now. The water is so inviting, you can't resist. Oh man, that is refreshing. It's like having your own private infinity pool, surrounded by these ancient rocks. It's a unique experience you won't find anywhere else. If you're looking for a beach with a little bit of adventure, Kolimbithras is definitely worth checking out. There's so much to explore and discover. You can climb on the rocks, explore the pools, and just soak up the incredible scenery. Every corner of this beach offers something new and exciting. Plus, there's a little beach bar right over there where you can grab a drink or a snack. It's the perfect spot to relax and take in the view after a day of exploring. I'm gonna go grab a frappe and enjoy the view. There's nothing like a cold drink to complement the stunning scenery. Stay tuned, because up next we're hitting up Golden Beach, which is supposed to be a windsurfer's paradise. If you love water sports, you won't want to miss this. All right, we made it to Golden Beach, and this place is living up to its name. The golden sand stretches as far as the eye can see, and the water is a mesmerizing shade of turquoise. Look at this sand. It's like powdered sugar. It's so fine and soft, it almost feels unreal under your feet. And the water is that same crazy beautiful turquoise color. It's so clear, you can see the fish swimming near the shore. I can definitely see why they call it Golden Beach. The combination of the golden sand and the clear blue skies is just breathtaking. But the main attraction here is the wind. 
It's what makes this place so special for adventure seekers. As you can see, this place is a haven for windsurfers and kite surfers. The wind conditions are perfect for catching some serious air and performing amazing tricks. The wind is perfect for catching some serious air, and there are tons of schools and rental shops right on the beach if you want to give it a try. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, you'll find everything you need here. Now, I've never actually been windsurfing before, but when in Rome, right? Or should I say, when in Paros? It's time to step out of my comfort zone and try something new. I'm gonna talk to this instructor and see if I can get a quick lesson. Wish me luck. I'm excited, but also a bit nervous. Okay, so I'm suited up and ready to hit the water. The wetsuit feels snug, and the board is bigger than I expected. Let's see if I can stay upright for more than five seconds. Spoiler alert, it's not as easy as it looks. Okay, so windsurfing is harder than it looks. But every fall is a learning experience and I'm determined to get the hang of it. But you know what? I'm having a blast. The feeling of gliding over the water, even for a few seconds, is exhilarating. The water is warm, the sun is shining, and the energy here is amazing. It's the perfect setting for trying out new adventures. Even if you're not a pro, the vibe here is super welcoming. Everyone is encouraging and supportive, which makes the experience even better. Everyone is just out here having fun and enjoying the wind and the waves. It's a community of like-minded people who love the thrill of the sport. Plus, after all that windsurfing, you can relax at one of the many beach bars that line the shore. They offer a perfect spot to unwind and soak in the beautiful surroundings. They've got everything from fresh seafood to ice cold beers. The food is delicious and the drinks are refreshing, making it the perfect way to end a day of adventure. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and rest my weary muscles. After all that activity, I've definitely worked up an appetite. Up next, we're heading to Santa Maria Beach, which is known for its snorkeling and its party atmosphere. Stay tuned, it's going to be another exciting adventure you won't want to miss. Chapter three, Santa Maria, dive in. Santa Maria Beach, baby. This place is a whole different vibe. It's still got that classic Paros beauty with the white sand and the turquoise water, but it's a little more lively than the last two beaches we visited. There's music playing, people are playing beach volleyball, and the water sports scene is off the hook. You can rent jet skis, go parasailing, or even try water skiing. But I'm here for something a little more low-key today. Santa Maria is also known for its amazing snorkeling. So I'm gonna grab my mask and fins and see what I can find beneath the surface. Wow, the water is so clear. I can see everything perfectly. There are fish everywhere. And the coral reefs are incredible. This is so cool. I feel like I'm in a whole different world down here. Man, that was awesome. I could snorkel here all day. But I'm starting to get a little hungry, and I've heard that Santa Maria has some of the best beach bars on the island, so I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat and maybe a cocktail or two. Stay tuned, because up next we're heading to our final destination, Farragas Beach. It's supposed to be a hidden gem, so I'm excited to see what it's all about. Chapter four, Farragas. Peace, quiet, and Greek salad. All right, folks, last beach of the day, Farragas Beach. And let me tell you, this place is special. It's a little off the beaten path, tucked away in a secluded cove, but that's what makes it so amazing. The sand is soft and white, the water is crystal clear, and the atmosphere is incredibly peaceful. There are no jet skis, no loud music, just the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. This is the perfect place to come and escape the crowds, relax, and recharge. I'm gonna find a spot under an umbrella, read my book, and soak up the last few rays of sunshine. If you're looking for a truly authentic Greek island experience, Faragas Beach is a must visit. It's a reminder that sometimes the best things in life are the simplest. And if you get hungry, there's a fantastic little taverna right on the beach that serves up delicious home-cooked Greek food. I'm gonna go grab some lunch and then maybe take a nap under this umbrella. This is the life, my friends, my uh. Utro Paros, you stole a pizza my heart. Well, there you have it, folks. Four incredible beaches in Paros, Greece. From the rock formations of Kolymbithris to the windsurfing paradise of Golden Beach, the snorkeling haven of Santa Maria, and the tranquil escape of Vargas, this island has something for everyone. I'm exhausted from all the swimming, sunbathing, and exploring, but it was worth every second. Paros, you've stolen a pizza my heart, get it? Because Greece? Pizza? Okay, I'll work on my material. But seriously, this place is magical. Paros is truly a beach lover's paradise, offering everything from exciting water sports to serene escapes. Thanks for joining me on this beach adventure. Don't forget to check out our hand-picked playlist for more travel tips and tricks. And as promised, here's your bonus tip for the best beach experience. Visit Paros in late spring or early fall to avoid the crowds and enjoy perfect weather. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications. We've got plenty more travel adventures coming your way. Until next time, keep exploring.